Can you say your full name and how old you are? Tyler. Can you say I'm Tyler and I'm four? I'm Tyler and I'm four. We learned Tyler had Gaucher's disease June of 2021 at his two and a half year wellness checkup with the pediatrician. Achondroplasia is the most common form of dwarfism. It's the same form of dwarfism that uh, Peter Dinklage has. As a teenage boy in Texas who was so much taller than everyone else and so much skinnier than everyone else, I was pretty self-conscious. I didn't tell anyone I had Marfan syndrome. The human genome is like the library of life. We have shelves and we call those shelves chromosomes. Within the shelves, we have books, and we call books DNA. And in each of the books, we have uh, the blueprint of life. So we met with all the teams at Hopkins, and when we met with the genetics team. And we looked at each other, and we're like, we don't need to meet with the genetics team. Before we can see both of our sons, we did genetic testing on the two of us. They said, you did everything right, but those tests only test for the main variants of all those diseases. And it turns out Quentin carries a rare form of Gaucher's disease that's never been reported in medical history. And we are, we're speechless. It was good because we knew what it was now. But even though we were 99.9, .9, I still didn't feel great um, until I saw the treatment actually working. Before his first treatment, I was put in touch with a few families with children that go through treatment for Gaucher's disease. And one of the moms said, we tell her daughter that she's going to get her superpowers. So we shared that with the infusion clinic before his first treatment. And when we got there, they had a big Tyler Superpower S on the infusion bag. They had, you know, a cape for him and toys and candy. And he was so excited. It's definitely a load has been lifted off our chest. We can think about, you know, the future um, in a brighter way. It's pretty cool living with achondroplasia. You have to be yourself, patient, strong, or whatever you are. You have to be just yourself. For me, genetics is the foundation for our medical care. While they're not making dramatic changes to Asante's physical body, they're helping us to understand it better. So it's we get an education, we have camaraderie, we made a couple friends. You know, there's a lot of trust that you have in the genetics department at Hopkins. It's been just like a psychological breath of fresh air to have them on my side. This is the Baltimore Sun article. You gonna go get it, Asati? Yeah. I don't wanna watch it. Just advocating for the Greenberg Center, right? Yeah. And he was so excited because he said, I know Lamar Jackson. What did, you, what did you think about Lamar? Lamar's definitely going to see this. He has to buy a newspaper. Yes. Hopefully you saw this, Lamar. Lamar! <laughs> My mother's experience with Marfan was just wildly different from my own. It was much more scary. She didn't know what it was. For me, Marfan was a reason I couldn't do things. But more recently, Marfan syndrome has been all about my children. You know, when my wife and I were deciding to have children, we talked to our friends at Hopkins just to get genetic counseling. We understood the chances. We have three kids, two of whom have Marfan syndrome. And my children were born into this world knowing what it is, the human genome mapped all of this, now there's medicine that they take every day that just feels like a very different world than I grew up in and certainly than my mother grew up in. I mean, this can go on the cutting room floor, but I can't be here without saying how profoundly grateful I am, not just for the medical expertise, but the familial friendship that we get when we're at Hopkins. I just don't go to other doctors where it's like big hugs, you know? And that has meant so much to me, to my family, and it's gonna mean so much to my kids.